welcome back to my channel uh, today we are going to talk about one tunance models of agricultural land use uh, throughout this video we are going to talk about the uh, model of the theory assumption of the theory explanation and conclusion so before s before starting uh, this class uh, it's important to know that this model was created before industrial revolution uh, in Europe. So at the time the main uh, at the time the main mode of transportation is through cart and or horses. So uh, in the first slide, who developed this model? It is developed by uh, Johann Heinrich von Thunen. Uh, uh, in the early 1800, 1800 or 19th century but so it was not translated until na English in English in 1966 um, this model was created in a book entitled isolated state so in that book uh, von Thunen started looking at y land use land use to see how farmer produce certain crops at certain area and uh, he so he was also a s German skill farmer and having knowledge about economics. His main focus is on economic factors and profit maximi maximi maximization. So based on these two, uh, how um, how it influence agricultural location and production. So this is one of the model Montunen uh, Montunen. Uh, created in uh, which is also called as isolated state so in this model you have four ring uh, in the center you have urban area or market so uh, you have uh, next to this you have dairy farming forest grains and field crop and ranching and livestock so these these zones are surrounding the market meaning uh, all these farmers cultivate their crops outside the city and for selling uh, selling purpose they comes to the city so let's go his main his main assumptions are uh, that in that area there is only one market located centrally located centrally and that market is self-sufficient that means this isolated state this area they have only one market which is at the center and it is self-sufficient this market doesn't need to depend on uh, depend on other for the goods and services everything is provided by this surrounding area um, the city is the market for surplus from the hinterland and receive no good from others so the city as i said it's only receive goods from the surrounding area which is four zone um, and doesn't receive be behind uh, apart from that they don't receive any goods any goods and then in that hinterland this area this zones is inhabited by farmer and then those farmer they want to make profit by selling their crops uh, by selling their crops into the market and he has another assumption that uh, that the area or the agricultural area is a homogeneous that means uh, that soil quality climate is same throughout that area he as a assume that the model or one tunen assume that the whole area it's kind of a flat area which the soil quality is also the same and also the climate is also the same um, as i said city soul market which is isolated from other area and then agricultural area agriculture product is a sole supplier in this area and um, and the only the only kind of transportation it's a form of horse driven cart so as you see as you can see in the picture this is the only form of uh, the only form of transport which they carry their goods to the market the isolated state
so this is a kind of model uh, he had put forward his model in the book isolated state so this is the one he first made put forward and then the modified version of the model is given on the left side so you have the main seat central city you have navigable river market gardening and mill production firewood and lumber production crop farming without fellow crop farming fellow and pasture tree fill system and livestock <coughs> farming so here the detailed explanation of this zone six zones at when he first put forward he he uh, his model has only four zones that means you have dairy farming forest field crops and livestock but then in the modified version he has six zones surrounding the city market so the first zone uh, uh, outside the city which is the first zone or also called as ring one it contains that area is occupied by that this area uh, dairy farming is occupied by dairy farming uh, farmers who produce dairy products and also market gardening uh, see the uh, production of fresh milk so this uh, this model was developed uh, with in the context of european market and uh, vegetables was concentrated in the zone nearest to the city so why it is because uh, it's situated nearest to the city because of the perishability of such products in those time there was no fridge to keep it longer so uh, they can why they are uh, located nearest to the city so they can uh, transport the products uh, very <coughs> quickly to the city so in this zone the fertility of land was maintained by means of manuring and if necessary additional manure was brought from the city and transported to short distances to the farm so in order to uh, for the uh, for the area to be uh, fertile sometimes they put manure uh, manure Uh, so in the next zone, this is zone 2, it is used for production of wood, a bulky product in great demand in the city as a fuel in the early part of the 19th century for heating and cooking. So here, outside the city, you have first one is dairy farming and the market gardening. And apart from that, this is the area where, you know, um, it's occupied by farmers who do uh, who do transportation of wood in the city since uh, wood is a heavy bulky product and there is a great demand in the city so during those time there is only one kind of fuel that is wood which is you know used for heating and cooking in the third zone consists of extensive field crops such as you know grain uh, and for bread so um, since grain lasts longer than dairy products and is much lighter than wood transport cost was considered to be lower allowing a location farther from the city so the reason why it is located farther away from the city why weight uh, grain is little far from the city it is because it is lighter and then it is lighter and also uh, lighter than wood and because that because of that transportation cost also uh, doesn't the transportation also doesn't cost much uh, in the fourth zone you have uh, farming farming was less intensive in the fourth zone you have a uh, farming is done uh, so in the in that fourth zone farmer used a seven year crop rotation so in which <coughs> rye occupied one seven of the land there was one year of rye <coughs> one year of barley one of oats three of pasture and one of fallow so uh, the products sent to the market were rye, butter, cheese, and occasionally live animals to be slaughtered to the city. These products did not perish quickly as fresh meal and vegetables and could therefore be produced at a considerable greater distance from the market. And in the fifth zone, you have um, in, the, in the most distant of the zone supplying right to the city zone 5 farmers follow the tree fill system so this was a rotation system whereby one third of the land was used for field crops another one third for pasture and the rest left fellow and the farthest zone of all 
that is zone 6 was the one of the livestock farming because of distant to the market rye did not produce so high rent as the production of butter cheese or live animals here uh, the farmers only produce for self consumption only farmers produce only animals produced were marketed so in this model according to one tunin so whatever it is produced till uh, zone 5 it is uh, transported to the market because the mar the farmers want to uh, uh, want to profit his from his, from their production they will transport it to the mar market and uh, when uh, beyond zone 5 that is zone 6 the farmer they produce uh, crops but they don't sell to the city because uh, uh, because uh, it is far away from the city it is far away from the city and it will they will not get much profit when they go to the city so the farmers only produce for self-consumption sometimes only animals were marketed because animals can be transported by walking uh, without any causing the transportation uh, cause so in conclusion even though the wantonian model came into the light in time before introduction of factories uh, highway and even ra railroad it is still an essential model in geography so it is uh, an excellent illustration of the balance between the land cost and transportation uh, cost as you can see from in the example as in the city itself now as one get closer to the city the price of land also increase thank you